How you doing guys? This is Mario from MA Fly Tying and I'm going to be tying a buzzer for you. Now, um, I want to show you uh, a product that uh, I think is excellent and it's for doing um, quill buzzers. Um, usually you'll find that vineyards will do you um, Polish quills, um, but I'm going to use this stuff today which, which is from Flybox and it's their Magic Quill High Definition. Um, these are actually clear ones and they do have a black uh, rib on them as well and, and what I like about them is, is A, they're, they're easy to come by, <coughs> um, pretty easy to use and uh, you can get at least at least a couple of flies out of them if, if not three uh, for your buzzers and you can use them for buzzers, you can use them for any any body at all to be honest with you. Um, so we will to get that prepared, if it's going to come off for me. I just want to peel these off if you can. There we go. Yeah, I've got a sticky side. Uh, not so sticky side. So, right. You want to be tying this and using, you can mess about with it. You can use any colour of th thread, but for me, uh, the lighter colour colour of threads are better than your, your darker threads because you will lose... Uh, you will lose the rib. So when you get a bed of thread down, I'm using olive. Uh, this is from Techstream uh, Light Light Olive, and it's a midge thread. Um, so that's my my quill. Now when I tie this in, what I want is I want the dark side to be up the way, and it's got a sticky side as I said, and it's got a a non sticky side. So I'll get that tied in at the bottom. We'll start to build our body. This fly is going to have a wee hot spot, as most of my flies do, they've got a bit of a trigger point. So get that down to the body. You don't want to go mad with your body because the, the quill that is, that is a wee bit thicker uh, than your Polish quills. Um, so once you've got that on there, you want to then take this up. Your first wrap is the, the most difficult one because that's the one that's not going to lay down quite as much. And I've actually forgotten to do something because I want to put in here a red rib because that's going to show up underneath your body. I think it gives it a great effect. So bring that down just before the barb of the hook. Try and get that out of the way. So, get your rib on, uh, sorry, get your red on. Bring that up, tie it off. And your quill is going to come up over the top of that. So don't worry too much about getting it really neat at this stage. So just in touching turns. Bring that up. Over the top of your red. All the way up. Tie that off. Tie that. And hopefully you can see in the camera. And we'll just have a wee red thorax built up her head. It's annoyed me actually getting that, forgetting to put that red in there for the video, but guys, we all, all make mistakes. Um, that's part of learning. And uh, even the best, very best fly tires out there, I'm sure will tell you that it's not, uh, they make it look simple, but 
sometimes you do need to take the material off and, and start over again and, and make sure that you get it right. Uh, for this fly, I'm going to add in uh, some fluorescent yellow cheeks for this one. You can use any colour that you wish. I'm using yellow. And there like that. And then for the other side, on your side. Tails in. Make sure you're happy with the head. Bring your goose bites to the front. You turn still at the mint. Hold your bobbin tight. And then pull those off. And then what finish to get the fly. Tight. Finish off this fly. Cool. Sally Hansen. Hold his nails. Hopefully in the video there guys you can see the effect that that magic quill buzzer gives you. So you've got the rib, you can just see the olive through it and then you've got your red thorax uh, before your head and then obviously your goose bites um, are in there as well. So if you enjoyed that guys please like and subscribe, hit the bell for future notifications and I look forward to catching you guys in the water.